Welcome back to another video. I'm here with my friend uh, Alami, part Hello. of the uh, part of the Alami and Alpha project. We're testing uh, your products. This time we have the CG AI05 Lite. This is the dashboard camera which we received uh, from CG. We've tested uh, Alami so far. I think uh, Car ABC, Car ABC, uh, Podophorio, right. the Carpu Ride, and uh, many more. We've tested quite a lot of uh, Mercy Lion, Mercy Lion uh, dashboard mm -hmm. camera. So now we can uh, compare uh, some of these cameras. This time we have the Chigi, and the Chigi I'm gonna keep on my transal this time for a longer time. To test it, uh, I really like the specs, I really like uh, how the package was delivered and uh, we're gonna start mounting this uh, CG AI05 light and uh, let's see how easy it is. What do you think? I think it will be really easy for us because it's not the first yeah. one. Uh, let's start. Let's start and do it, yes. I really like that they were uh, willing to send me also some accessories which are paid uh, separately like the uh, like this remote control the GG remote control pro which you can uh, take it separately this is separate from the package it uh, it uh, you can buy it you can purchase it separately and of course the uh, external tire pressure sensors which are coming also extra so you need to purchase them separately from the dashboard camera and uh, here is we have the camera we have the display five inch uh, display we have the hd cameras and we're gonna start and mount it on my transal as you see i already have this um, gps this bracket the gps mount i'm gonna put it here because i would like to have the information from the display and of course uh, the chg navigator dashboard camera the chg provided everything you need to install the bracket all the tools all the tools all the necessary tools for installing the bracket the stickers are uh, pretty good quality they are 3m 3m stickers finally this bracket it's uh, metal mm -hmm. good, quality, very good quality very good quality yes
thankfully everything fits to my new GPS mount from Isota uh, you find the link in the description so we placed this uh, adapter from Chigi which fits perfectly to the GPS mount already uh, placed on my transalp this adapter has a spot exactly uh, perfectly fitting the bracket we're placing it uh, exactly in the middle first uh, we're mounting the the display first step and then from the display we're gonna move to the cameras and this is the positioning of the display the position also helps uh, a little bit uh, especially because now we are using the smaller windshield from Isota anyway uh, we have this bracket where we can uh, move the display we're trying to find some space uh, for the cables I'm trying to hide the cables actually yes of course to hide it to hide it it's the best solution yes we're using the zip ties we're connecting to the uh, power outlet the accessory plug this uh, this we're gonna use to connect the chigi we need to take out this plastic from the dashboard display and here it is here is the space we created for these uh, plugs these cables yes that's why i'm working with alame because uh, he always finds uh, the best solution in this uh, in this case with place the cables underneath the windshield support we take out we loosen up the windshield bracket and check it out how nicely the cables are uh, making space and uh, we're not even gonna see <laughs> the cables it's such a discreet and such a professional work done so far very professional work <laughs> the, solution. the solution is the hammer you cannot miss it it's uh, the power, um, the power uh, output power plug mm -hmm. yes this is water resistance but also we put some uh, power tape on. power be tape sure. to be sure yes even though the cables are waterproof mm -hmm. uh, just for safety reasons we're gonna place also some uh, tape isolating tape the cables are very good the rubber and the quality of the cables uh, as uh, mentioned we have uh, the cables written cam b this is uh, cam f so everything can be connected accordingly you cannot be mistaken while b connecting is for front b is for rear back back yes f front b back although it's not necessary we still do it we still do it uh, just to be sure the best moment to install the cameras where do you want the camera Here. yes i think uh, underneath the headlight it's the best uh, the better mm -hmm. position the best position best actually position. Uh, the best position the arrow shows the uh, direction of the cam and this is the up Upper, okay. upper the upper part, yes, yeah. the upper direction. Mm -hmm. So we are going to place it like this, so we have to turn the arrow here. Yes, in this part. yes. It's better that everything gets uh, written and you can yeah. adjust the camera angle afterwards uh, easily. Under the headlight, uh, this could be the best position uh, for this camera. We use some zip ties to fix the cable to the crash bar. Now we connect the cable from the frontal camera. Cam F. So the frontal camera, it's uh, indicated on the cable. We're isolating as an extra protection uh, measure. We have a separate GPS antenna. What do you think, Alami, it's I the best position for the GPS the, antenna? It's the best position here. Huh? Yeah, uh, underneath the, the, it's also protected by the windscreen. The, yes, of course, in case of rain and anything. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's uh, waterproof. For the transup, there is an upgrade, uh, bigger sun protection uh, for the uh, for the dashboard. So we're gonna choose to mount it here. I think this is so the best the position. Future, in the future, you want we we want uh, be forced to take it out. No? Yes, yes, of course. Before you apply, we need to uh, clean up, degrease the surface. It's 
it also says top yes it's a written uh, it's written top on the gps antenna so you cannot be mistaken this is the position for the rear camera i think it's one of the best we've made space for the cable uh, under the seat it fits very nicely for the rear camera we're gonna connect the last cable very close to the frame we we'll stick the cable to the frame and then we're gonna continue underneath the petrol tank and now the last but not least we need to connect the power we decided to mount it on the accessory uh, on the power outlet and uh, of course we're gonna connect this uh, red and yellow and we have the black red and yellow will be together and the black uh, separate we have a few more steps and we will be able to uh, power up the chiji let's start up and uh, yes indeed yes indeed we have power we have power to the display to chiji we need to choose uh, english that's for sure now we need to activate the app i uh, just uh, download the app for android we have also the uh, iphone we can test it on the iphone we were able to connect uh, my android phone uh, from the app so i was uh, downloading the app i was able to connect my uh, my android with the uh, chiji now uh, we have some instructions like avoid fixing the camera in strong vibration areas uh, adjust the camera angle to place the calibration lines 8 meter away from the camera do not operate the device while driving to avoid danger that's understood we click ok and now check it out we have a couple of settings setting feature system upgrade for the best experience um, better experience we can see on the top left we have the GPS antenna we have a couple of options first let's check out the video cameras we click on the video and we have the rear camera and the front camera let's switch it we can switch it <laughs> yes uh, they are working they are working we need to insert um, an SD card uh, you can see here that it's clicking it's recording actually carplay which is available we can uh, use everything from the carplay it's uh, quite easy we can press uh, home button which is uh, position here on top and i found it uh, one of the most responsive uh, dashboard cameras which i uh, tested so far we can also install the remote control and the tire pressure sensors now we're gonna put back all the cables clean everything close the operation and start using the chiji we're installing now the uh, tire pressure sensors which have a washer you can tie it up with the provided uh, key let's put on the rear first you put the washer which will uh, eventually tie up the tire pressure sensor don't uh, tie it up too much you don't want to destroy the valve yeah you need to have this key all the time in order to uh, take it out in case uh, you need it now uh, we're gonna install the remote control keep in mind that the remote control the gps adapter and also the tire pressure sensors they come separately so you have to purchase them separately we're gonna pair it via bluetooth we have to pair the tire pressure sensors prepare two external tire pressure sensors do not screw the sensor into the valve before pairing make sure you're making this pairing uh, before mounting the sensors now we have 1.94 for the front and 31 uh, celsius this is the tire temperature we can monitorize also the tire temperature which is very nice
Chichi was founded in April 2020 by a passionate crew of motorcycles enthusiasts with a deep roots in electronic product manufacturing. Chigi is providing an all-in-one solution for motorcycle dashcam, which are beginning to be more and more important from year to year, and it comes as a necessity for the motorcycle riders. Let's check for a bit the specifications of the Chigi AI05 Lite. It has a 5-inch display, the working temperature is from minus 20 to 65 Celsius, the brightness it's a maximum 1200 nit, which is one of the highest from the market. It supports HDR video, it has a waterproof rating of IP67 and it supports an SD card of 256 GB. It's time to put to the test the new Chigi dashboard display, dashboard camera. So uh, I've connected uh, with my phone and uh, I'm pretty pretty impressed about its features starting with the tire pressure sensor starting with the video quality this uh, display it has uh, 60 frames per second it's one of the let's say fastest but in the same way uh, the brightest of all so it has uh, I think 1200 nits this is the visibility of the display you can check out you can have both front and rear picture in pictured also rear and front picture in pictured but I prefer to have the rear all the time uh, acting as a security measure anyway it records automatically so you don't have to worry about that when we go to the home we have also this uh, tire pressure sensor monitor and the temperature monitor for the tires we have 32 for the front and 33 celsius for the rear we can monitor this uh, tire pressure during our ride we have uh, we have a uh, compass speedometer uh, also tachometer everything which we need here uh, in terms of uh, metrics uh, battery voltage altitude everything is collected by the GPS uh, antenna which is mounted uh, you saw already uh, here my friend Alami did an amazing job and he uh, really struggled to make the mounting as clean as possible everything looks uh, pretty pretty good you don't see uh, actually not even uh, one cable you see this one here but everything is connected to the power outlet socket so uh, we have a 30 amper uh, fuse so plenty of uh, amperes to use uh, for our gadgets starting with the gg dashboard camera the phone or every charging uh, perhaps you would like to have yeah i'm pretty impressed about the visibility i'm pretty impressed about the features of this gg the quality uh, everything as a package and uh, i'm gonna keep it on my bike i'm gonna use it uh, on my daily rides because i think uh, it brings out uh, a huge benefit especially this beautiful rear camera check out the angle you can see all the dead angles uh, when you're riding and in the same time in the same picture we have another data like the altitude we have also the geographical positioning time and tire pressure and also speed on the same picture so this is this i found uh, quite useful we can lock we can stop the recording we can lock uh, everything can be uh, adjusted so uh, yeah let's check out the front check out the front uh, the image it's one of the best i've tested so far uh, by far the best one uh, we need to check the video footage but from what we can see here the uh, image quality and the frame rate are totally uh, much better than on the other uh, uh, gadgets which we've tested so this GG seems to be uh, among uh, the best ones we can stop recording we can uh, check out the recordings here check it out you have uh, front you have back and uh, you have pictures so everything is recorded here you can check them out later now I'm gonna keep the rear camera which is uh, quite important 
and of course you can navigate you can use uh, the car links carplay android auto you can connect the bluetooth everything uh, can be connected uh, you see you can choose a uh, high frame rate you can use uh, 2.g default it's 5g pairing records what i really like is the sensitivity check out i have my my gloves and uh, you can check it out it's uh, very sensitive to the gloves it works uh, absolutely perfectly let's put on the rear camera let's go back we have the tire sensors tire pressure sensor 2 in the front 2.2 we have increased a little bit the rear tire uh, temperature we can use the unit the low value the high value is set up you can set it up here let's put uh, 1.5 for the front the lowest at the moment let's check it out 1.5 we click ok yeah as i said uh, one of the best so far one of the best uh, navigation so far I really like it everything it's uh, very visible very easy to use higher frame rate there is a risk that uh, you're not gonna use the rear mirrors but uh, keep in mind that the distance shown here it's uh, a little bit uh, different than the standard one in the mirrors you see the objects closer but here you see uh, the cars a little bit uh, far away I can even see my shadow on the on the rear camera you can all the time use the metrics you have uh, metrics displayed uh, continuously the speed tire pressure tire temperature voltage altitude the uh, elapsed time the trip throttle engine temperature there are even more uh, infos uh, when you gonna receive these infos when you connect to the battery we are connected not to the battery but to the uh, accessory plug to the uh, power outlet that's why we don't get the throttle and uh, the engine temperature but this one we already have it on our main display so we don't need it so we've paired the, also the remote control with the display you can go to settings features and you have the rc the remote control and you can uh, connect it it appears here the status is not connected you can connect it unpair now was paired Let, let's pair it again you have here pair we click on pair we need to press any button on the remote control and now it's paired you can delete it the sta the status uh, means connected and what you can do here you can uh, while you're in the video you can go from the video to the uh, uh, carplay or android auto you can uh, you know you can press here and uh, lock the video you can see here on the screen you can lock the video you can make a picture by a press of a button you can make a call you can switch the cameras check it out here if you're pressing short you are switching to the cameras now we are on the rear the front picture in picture cameras let's leave the rear all right we lock the video in case uh, something happened by pressing uh, long we unlock it here we take a picture and by pressing long we gonna connect with our gadgets carplay android auto or make a phone call by a press of a button you can go back also by long pressing on the button so i prefer to have uh, either navigation of course where i'm riding but i would like to keep uh, the rear camera because uh, i have the rear camera i have plenty of information on the on this page an interesting gadget it's uh, this one 
from the features with BSD blind spot detection in this blind spot detection you can uh, receive an alarm when your vehicle you can see check it out when a vehicle approaches you or uh, you have a vehicle behind you you receive an alarm uh, starting from 0 km per hour up to 50 let's put 20 and this is the the alarm which you're gonna get accordingly to the vehicle uh, behind you and this is the line you can see it check it out this is the signal when a vehicle approaches you you receive uh, an alarm yes you see this uh, you cannot uh, you don't have to rely on this one 100 percent but uh, this is an extra safety uh, measure and uh, this is one of my favorite uh, pictures this one with the info especially during the night i find it uh, quite useful in combination with the dashboard from uh, from the transalp with this uh gg dash dash cam i think it's a nice package it's very compact not too big not too small it's enough it's enough to uh, provide you not only uh, some extra info but uh, most incredible and most amazing uh, safety feature like you have a rear camera this rear camera really it's a big plus i think this i'm gonna use uh, quite a lot i can use uh, i can use the rear camera and of course i can use the the honda app i can use the honda app to navigate somehow with the uh, with my uh, google maps and i keep this uh, this GG for its perfect uh, image quality and I still have some extra infos on top I've tested the GG cameras in the very low light environment and you can check it out the results uh, we're speaking about basically no light over here at the beginning of the video then we're moving to the street and I have to say that this is one of the best uh, footage from the dash cameras which I've tested so far we're speaking about a very low light environment this is uh, outside the city with a very low light coming up from one side and you can check it out the video Video quality it's uh, more than decent I mean uh, you can distinguish everything what's happening around the angle the wide angle it's uh, pretty good and you can uh, capture basically everything which is uh, in front and behind you especially so yes I'm pretty satisfied about the results the frame rate uh, makes a huge difference in providing you the image uh, really fast I mean you know exactly what's uh, what's happening behind you in front of your eyes you don't need to uh, lean your eyes downwards you have it in front of your eyes this I like uh, very much if we're checking now the the tire pressure check it out uh, 39 celsius for the rear and 34 celsius for the front we can see uh, especially during the winter i think this is quite an important info the tire temperature quite nice to have it I like to see uh, in the GG uh, display the rear video. Uh, sometimes it's nice to look at the smoke left behind. <laughs> 
now we have uh, 43 Celsius for the rear and 34 for the front this is the actual uh, tire temperature of course we've uh, slided the, the rear a little bit on that uh, gravel do I recommend the, the GG dashboard camera? That's for sure. That's for sure. In this uh, combination, I recommend also the tire pressure uh, sensor. This uh, remote, which makes everything much safer. The operation of the display uh, will be much safer. The visibility, it's, uh, it's one of the best so far. The quality of the video and the frame rate of the display, it's uh, really good. Same, one of the best so far. So yes, this uh, definitely worth uh, the money. You have a link in the description with a discount code. There should be a special price for you as a subscriber of the Ideal Bike channel. And imagine, just to prove you the quality of, the, of this display, we have the sun coming up uh, in front of the display. So now you can, you can see actually uh, the quality of the image uh, despite and the quality and the power of the visibility, the visibility of the screen. Uh, uh, although the sun is uh, direct in this uh, display, in this uh, GG, so the visibility is very good if you have any further questions regarding this product don't hesitate to place them uh, in the comment section and i will happily answer if you would like some tips regarding the mounting uh, you can also watch the video and uh, you can see how nicely we've arranged everything so uh, you can take your time but uh, afterwards you have a uh, quite a clean a dashboard with plenty of infos and a navigation connected directly to your phone or if you let's say uh, maybe you're like me you don't necessarily want to connect uh, the navigation here maybe you want to use it uh, with a Honda app then you can also uh, have this uh, clean image clean display and use only the cameras the cameras anyway they are recording the front camera the rear camera you can even make a combo of uh, rear and front camera in the same time but the cameras are recording uh, no matter what picture you have here so you are uh, somehow secured uh, by the recordings in case something uh, you know happens we can see that because of the heat the rear tire have now 2.4 bars so this is quite important you need to know how your bike reacts to uh, the heat how uh, the tires will uh, warm up will chill out and uh, that's quite important you know 41 celsius now for the rear it starts to chilling it starts uh, to chill out the front still has 33 the front uh, seems not to you know has a much better ventilation and uh, much uh, smaller contact surface 